Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Joey Natto, and this is, uh, I think I'm going to call this segment The Breakdown, or series, or I don't know what to call it, but um, kind of new to the whole YouTube game. Thanks to everybody that's watching these. I had uh, one beat-making video up, and now I'm going to start putting up more, and I think it'd be a cool idea you know, since I, I rap too and I've been putting out songs to take the songs that I've been putting out and break down those beats. So there's a song I put out <clears throat> this week called My Bad. Um, definitely check it out if you haven't. Link is in the description below. But if you haven't, then... Um, well, here's the instrumental anyway. <laughs> so basically, I make all my own beats pretty much. Um, sometimes I reach out to other people or one of my boys makes a beat for me but this one excuse my voice is, is 3 30 in the morning but i wanted to make sure to get this done you know what i mean so let's see how should we break down this beat well here's the beat first of all in its entirety <laughs> Without the bass, that's the verse. This is the hook. So, where did it all come from? Well, first, we have the main instrument, which is kind of like a playful, kind of creepy, fuzzy piano sound. And I'm using Reason, by the way, to make all my beats, but this is sound i want to have it labeled i should do that it's called source try noise okay so let's solo that and if you listen closely you'll see that nothing is playing my program is Completely failing. Okay, here we go. So we're good now. So. So the way I played that was. Those are the notes, but at the same time, I have a little bass note under it just to. Give it a little bit of movement. Because without it, this is what it sounds like. There's no story. It just sounds like a loop. It sounds more like a loop. You know what I mean? So, then I like dropped out the velocity a little bit. Because in this part, I was talking. So, I just wanted to, you know, create a little suspense a little bit. Oh, I don't know what that is. This is actually missing a part. This is missing a part. I don't even think this is like the full beat, but this is most of it. This is definitely most of it. Anyways. That, that's what it sounds like when the beat drops. It goes, -na -na -na, and then it drops into the drum. And they move really well, which uh, I'm pretty proud of. If I had to take a guess, I probably did the snares first. So it's probably sounded like... My drums are pretty much looped once I get that regular four bar sequence going. You'll see I have the uh, tempo really high for this one. I mean, this is a pretty old beat, so I used to do everything in double time as far as tempos. Um, so I didn't even understand the concept of 32 beats uh, per measure, the possibility of that. Anyways, um, so we got the snare. And then usually I do, I want to hear the kick in the snare, kick in the clap, kick in the rim shot, kick in the um, clap together, you know. And then I put in the crash. Constant crashes. 
kind of aggressive with the crashes on this one. Then this is a, uh, I guess this is the hat from Best I Ever Had by Drake, apparently. And you'll see I have one to the left, one to the right, and then they're just ping-ponging back and forth, 16th notes. <laughs> kind of gives it that nice little flow to it a little bit then um my favorite part of the beat which is incredibly simple really simple is just the bass line here Soundflower thing stopped working. So that's not it. The last things that I want to show you, which is really important about the beat, is the electric guitars, which add fire and some like underlying energy to the hook. I love electric guitars, I love them in my beats. Um, But listen to the bass by itself. And it's kind of a distorted bass, sorta. Of. And then listen to it with the guitar. Same notes. And yeah, it's a corny, you know, regular stock guitar sound. But it just sometimes when you use those type of sounds, like hidden, um. I don't know. Yeah, they just it's almost like that's what they were made for. What's this? This is something that I decided not to keep in the beat. So we gotta hear that. Okay. A little high string to go with the, the regular melody. I see what's going on. Okay, so this is the the whole beat. Hey, that's an important part of the beat right there. I'm glad I saw that that was there. So basically, um, what I did is I kept the melody going, the regular melody. This is right before the beat drops. Got those different snares going. so that way it matches up with the baseline more I'll, if you watch more of my videos going forward i'll do a ton of talking about bending 808 so i'll get into that more it, it wasn't that crucial and this this was more just to make the uh make it bump more in the car a little bit when people listen to it in the car or in their headphones um you know when you squeeze your headphones so you can really hear the bass and this is a pretty techno y EDM y type of screechy sound. I've used it in a lot of beats before. But for some reason, I just felt like the beat needed more color to it. it Resonates in the background a little bit. And that's pretty much it, man. That's, that's the beat. It's called My Bad. Song is in the description below. Leave some comments, leave likes. Let me know how you felt about.